Guys, this is Calvin Tan, and I'm going to profile um, my friend Daniel Duong's Samurai deck, the top that got second place at Richmond Regionals this weekend um, in May 2011. So here it is the monster lineup um, three Kizans, one Grandmaster, it runs three Kagamushas, two Elders of the Six Samurai, one Chi and Squire, and three Kagekis. You'll see more about those later. I'll show you. Uh, I'll have my friend Daniel actually, who ran the deck, he'll show you all the plays that this deck can make, the reason it runs Squire, the reason it runs Elder. You'll see all that in a bit. Um, we have one gateway, three, ases three asceticisms, um, <laughs> what? I don't know how to say this card. Asceticism of the Six Samurai. This card is awesome, but we'll talk about that later. Um, one True Nid, one Monster Reborn, one Rota. It runs three dojos, Sheehan's Dojo, three Spoke Signals, three um, Six Samurai United, and three Upstart Goblins. So this is, the, this is basically the draw engine, spell engine of this deck. Everything about this deck is turbo. It, revol it revolves around first turn Beast, first turn Sheehan, whatever you want. The great thing about this deck is that it can run the Naturia Synchros. It can run all of them, as opposed to most Samurai decks that can only run Barkeon. This one has access to Beast. It has everything, and so it's great. It can get it on the first turn with Tojo and, and Asceticism. Traps. It runs triple double-edged sword technique, double safe zone, one Solemn Judgment, and two Solemn Warnings. That's the entire main deck. Um, we're going to move into the extra deck now. <laughs> At some point. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as I said before, I could run the Maturia Synchro. So it has Beast, Archeon, and Landois. These are awesome. You you can get these out every duel you play. It doesn't matter. You're gonna see at least Beast and maybe a Barkeon. Landois. The plays are there. You know, Grandmaster plus um, Kegamusha, whatever you want. There are plenty of ways to get Landois out. This is great. The reason, like Sam's, are awesome because they can run these three cards. Triple Sheans, Catastor is another five star you can run. It runs Gaia and Bionic as six stars. Black Rose Dragon is 7, as well as Scrap Archfiend. And we have Scrap Dragon and Stardust as the as the 8 stars. And for 9 stars, we have Mistworm and Trishula. Trishula is probably the MVP of this deck. You can make it so easily, it, you know, it gets rid of all your, like, high monster problems. Because this deck runs into a lot of problems with um, Gores, for example. Like, even though you're controlling the field with uh, Sheehan, if you run into a Gores, there's not much you can do. Except now we have easy, easy access to Trishula, and it's just great. It's just Wraith Face. He comes out really easily. Get him first turn, second turn, it doesn't matter. Like, this deck is so fast, and that's the reason it got second place. The, uh, turn your cards the side deck runs two effect failures, one dark hole, two noblemen of crossouts, two noblemen of exterminations, two missile space typhoons, two change appearances, two goes and matches, mind crush, and royal oppression. I mean, these cards are pretty self-explanatory. I don't have to talk much about them, but this is my friend Daniel Duong's deck, and he's going to briefly show you some plays slash opening hands that this deck might deal with and how we would play with that. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I'd like to talk about this deck is Sheehan's Dojo. This card helped the deck so much, it helped Samurai become just completely more aggressive, completely more aggro. More she broken. More broken, like, there are no ways to describe it. I'll show you some plays you can make. You can have Dojo out, um, you can normal summon Kiazan or special, it doesn't matter. The token on Dojo will go to 1, you can pop it, and this is why we run Sheehan Squire. You bring out Sheehan Squire. This card seems terrible. Um, he, ha he has like a Karibo effect from hand, you can use it in the damage step, but if you notice, he's a tuner. And so right there, that, a single Kizan plus Dojo, popping into, into Sheehan from your, into a Squire from your deck, that's an Aturia Beast, or, or Sheehan, it doesn't matter, Which, whichever one of these you want. Generally, like, the Aturia Beast, if, um, Beast is really good in this format, there are a lot of Frognarks, there are a lot of, like, you know, plant decks that don't have a heavy trap engine, they rely around Pot of Avarice and stuff, there are White Swarms that need their draw engine, their mill power. First turn Beast is oftentimes... Pretty much always a lot better than a first turn Sheehan. So if you're going first, you want to get Beast. And running, uh, going through Kageki and Kagemusha doesn't allow you to do that, but going through this method does. And so you'll win a lot of games with uh, first turn Beast. So that's one combo you can use. Another one that doesn't even re rely on Dojo is um, you can you can have um, Kagemusha on the field. And so this is this is just a way to play completely around effect there. Like you don't need Kageki to get you there. You can summon him. You can use asceticism on him. And because he has 400 attack. You can summon Elder from your deck. You can also do this the other way around because uh, Elder has a Cyber Dragon effect. So if they have a monster, maybe you can like special him. If they're going to warning, great. Like they're generally not going to waste it on a special summon low monster. They're going to have no idea what you're doing, even if they do know about this deck. Like warning that that card isn't the best play you'll, you could make, and so you can follow up with a citizen, bring Kagamusha from your deck, and there you go. That's a five star again. Two Earths, Beast or Barkeon or Beast or uh, Sheehan. I'm sorry, whichever ones you want, and so like. 
these these combos will like help the deck get so far. There's also gateway abuse. Like this is this is token fodder for gateway. She and dojo. So samurai is great. The last card I like to talk about is safe zone. A lot of people don't really know what this card does, and the people that do know what it does can't really find a proper use for it. And safe zone is great in samurai. Um, what this card does is you select a face-up attack position monster, and that card cannot be targeted, destroyed. Um, so you know they can't dark like if they, if they dark hole is going to survive the dark hole. They can't Kaius it because uh, safe zone is selecting it. They can't veil it. They can't target it in any way, and they can't destroy it by battle. So safe zone, generally speaking, you use this on your Sheen to protect him. And the only way they can get around a Sheen like att attach the safe zone like this is why you have an out to Gores. If they drop Gores, you safe zone your Sheen. They can attack him all you want. You'll take like two hundred damage. But he'll, he'll never be destroyed. Safe Zone will protect the Sheehan, and Sheehan in turn will protect the Safe Zone. Because the only way um, to get around Safe Zone is, like, like a monster protected by Safe Zone dies whenever Safe Zone leaves the field. So if they true nade MST it, that's the only way they can get around it. And those cards, Sheehan can negate. Aside from that, Lila is a pretty good card for getting around it. Um, Kaius, if they're smart, they target the Safe Zone. Like, there, there are ways around it, but it just gives Samurai like another playability. Like, just another, another play that they can make. Safe Zone is really great. Um, the monster that Safe Zone is equipped to do can't, can't direct, uh, it can't attack directly, so I mean you can't like push for game with this, but it's control based card, and so it's great for that. Safe Zone was probably the MVP of this deck. It may be cut in the future, um, but it did make a great appearance, uh, appearance at Richmond. Daniel managed to like completely just rape face with this card. I've, saw, I've seen some of the combos he made, it was ridiculous. Safe Zone just walked for turns and turns. Um, and so that's like, that's an original uh, piece of this deck.